used all over the world to do useful things. The bicycle is such an efficient machine to extract useful power out of us, humans. I'm Nate from Design Squad. Today I'm gonna meet up with Miriam and Ethan, who are designing and building a really awesome, super useful box. Sweet box! We need your help! Ethan and Miriam are both architects and designers. They volunteered to build a custom bicycle trailer for Groundwork Somerville. Groundwork does a lot of things to help the community, like operating this urban farm. Kids who are members of the green team help plant and tend the vegetables that grow at this farm. The green team will use the bike trailer that Ethan and Miriam are building to bring the vegetables to farmers markets to sell. I get to help with some of the engineering. What have you guys done so far to get it to this point? Well, first we had a meeting with Jess. She's the program director at Groundwork Somerville. And we looked at their existing trailer and identified the needs for our design. We put together a donated bike cart and then just a cooler to keep the vegetables that need to stay cold in, a tub that we're keeping all of our supplies in. We've got a table that sort of gets strapped on there. The whole thing is held together with bungee cords and it's pretty flimsy. What if we had one thing that does it all for you? That sounds perfect. We came up with a design for an insulated box made of wood. It's a cooler, a bicycle trailer, and a farm sand. The sides of the box were made from thin plywood. We glued rigid foam insulation panels inside each side of the box. And all the box sides were put together with glue. Then we finished them off with wood screws. There was a lot of clamping to keep it tight while the glue dried. And here's our finished box. Yeah, all my favorite elements of a good build. So what do you need me to do? What we need you to do is to engineer this thing and make it move. Wheels, a tow bar, a hitch. We need it to be robust. And as lightweight as possible because it's being pulled by students. Ethan and Miriam have explained the scope of work. But I'd also like to meet members of the green team since they will be the end users of the bike trailer. What's the farthest you've ever ridden to get to a location with the bike in the trailer? Two miles from the office and then two miles back. Any kind of bicycle riding over bumpy roads could damage the vegetables along the way. Adding suspension may become important. Maybe we can flip this thing upright and you can tell me what's about the right height. Okay, how does this feel? It would be too tall. All right, this is like probably eight inches of travel available. If we lowered this down three inches, I think we'd have plenty of space for the suspension. I need to attach the wheel to the trailer in a way that allows the wheel to go bounce, bounce, bounce. My idea here is to repurpose some really big hinges. We attach the hinge to the box and the wheel to the hinge, and now we have suspension travel. I'm making a mock-up. It's a way of test fitting the parts by clamping them temporarily so I can see how they work together. That is a nice, simple suspension system. This is an elastomer. It's got a little bit of springy bounciness to it. Look at that thing bounce. What happens if we're riding along and one wheel hits a bump, but the other is still on smooth ground? This is what happens at the attachment point between the axle and the hinge when one side hits a bump and the other doesn't. But I know of a component that'll solve this problem. The rod end will allow me to attach the two parts together securely while still allowing some relative motion between them. Check it out. One side can be hitting bumps, and the attachment between the axle and the hinge is totally fine. That's what the rod end lets us do. On to the next stage. Now I'm building on the actual box. And I've got the rod ends welded onto the hinges, so I'm ready to attach. <laughs> cool. So there's some suspension present in the tire that will absorb some of the bumps. The second place where suspension or flexing is happening is in the hinge itself. As long as we're only bending it a little bit, it'll spring back fully each time. Then of course, the third place where suspension is happening is in the elastomer. <laughs> it works. Here comes a bump. Remember when I said that the hinge was gonna flex, but probably not flex too much? I was wrong, it flexed too much, and so it's permanently bent. All I've gotta do is bend it back and then weld some more metal to it to reinforce it. This piece of angle that I welded on 
should keep these things nice and stiff and strong. All I have to do now is reattach the whole thing and test it out again. Time to add the attachment to the bike. Of course, being inspired by some bike trailers that I've seen before, there's often some kind of bar or rod that comes from typically the lower end of the trailer up and then attaches to something like the seat post. I'm gonna take this straight piece of pipe and bend it into an S shape. I'm using a pipe bender, which has a hydraulic ram that I can pump to slowly bend the pipe. I guess it's more like a Z curve than an S curve, but it'll work. Not too bad. Now I'm using a press to flatten the ends of the pipe. Then I'm welding on two bars that I can screw into the bottom of the trailer box. To make a hitch that will attach the tow bar to the bike, I welded on two pieces of angled steel. That forms a slot for the seat post to slide into. I added a chain so that the hitch hangs from the seat and doesn't rest on the seat tube. This bolt closes the open slot to secure the hitch. Seems like it's working. Let's go over some bumps. I'm pretty happy, it seems to work. Today I'm delivering the bicycle farm stand trailer cart that I got to help build. What do you think? It looks nice. Miriam and Ethan built the box, and then they also designed some fantastic vinyl graphics that they're applying today. It looks awesome. I like your work. I like your work. <laughs> and it's so fun when everybody's contributing something unique and special that makes something way cooler than any of us could have built by ourselves. It looks beautiful. Can't wait to try. Yes, a bump. <laughs> it took the bump really well. What do you think? Yeah, I think that compared to the old trailer, uh, the ride was much uh, smoother and uh, much easier for me. The suspensions work uh, pretty well. I'm ready to roll. Here it is, the Somerville Mobile Market that I got to help work on. And it's in action. There's people here. They're buying vegetables straight out of the cart that the green team grew themselves. There's nothing like getting to work on something that matters. How was the ride over? The ride was really smooth. Well, I don't know if it gets more satisfying than this. I got to use my engineering skills to help on an awesome project as part of a team to build a really useful thing that helps lots of people and makes a lot of people happy. This is what it's all about. I'm gonna grab a couple tomatoes and actually some of the potatoes too. 